Nine years ago, this stray cat walked into a man's kitchen asking to be loved. On that fateful day, a friendship began between a man and a three-legged cat. The cat started showing up to play with the man's cat, Cecil. And when Cecil eventually passed, the visits continued. This cat didn't trust people by nature, but he had bonded with the man. His visits grew longer, and he soon claimed his own chair, a set of dishes, and was given the name Bubby. Boyd wanted to bring Bubby in as his own, but Bubby always demanded to go back outside. The three-legged wanderer could not be contained. In 2017, Boyd sadly passed away. It was important to him that Bubby be looked after, but Bubby entered the house only once after Boyd died and would not return again. Boyd's family would put out food, but it would be left untouched. For two years after that, nobody saw Bubby, and the family feared the worst. Until... In 2019, Ray Pinson spotted Bubby hanging around Boyd's house once again. He could tell Bubby was getting old and weak, so he set out with a plan to catch him once and for all. For months, he tried without any success. Ray was losing sleep thinking about Bubby out in the snowstorms. Boyd's house now had a new owner who happened to be afraid of cats. Ray knocked on her door and pleaded for her to let Bubby in if she ever saw him again. Day or night, he would come right over to get him. The very next day, the phone rang. The cat is in the kitchen. Bubby was dehydrated, beat up and exhausted. His little lifeless body was rushed to the vet, but as soon as he was on the exam table, he started to purr. He began his road to recovery at the shelter. And that's when I got to meet him. I didn't know anything about his past at the time, but I needed to comfort him and let him know that no matter what he had been through, doing? it was over now. You want to be my new favorite guy? That's a yes. He crumpled into a little ball and looked up at me with his sad human eyes. I couldn't part with him. I couldn't imagine Bobby with anyone else. I wanted to love him for every minute of the rest of his life. Bubby purrs the minute he wakes up in the morning and as he goes to sleep every night. He's never asked to go outside again, not once. He must know that he's home for good. When I think back on the first day that I met him and how broken he was, I remember being so upset thinking he's probably never even been loved before. But I was so happy to find out I was wrong. A week or so after I met Bubby, Boyd's daughter Rhonda reached out and told me all about Bubby's early years and about his special bond with her dad. A man who loved him until his very last breath. Bubby was loved once before, and he is now loved again.